Factsverse presents… Scientists have warned that eating instant noodles can have devastating effects on your body. Hmm. So do you think maybe eating instant noodles is bad for your noodle? Well, we'll find out in just a moment. First, as you're watching the video, drop down to the comments and tell us what your favorite instant food is. Also, while you're here, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. People love instant noodles. One of the most significant selling points is that they are very inexpensive. College students who are living on tight budgets, they practically live off of instant noodles. Another huge selling point is that they are quick and easy to make. You can have a nice meal ready to eat in three minutes. Best of all, you can add your own ingredients to make the noodles taste the way you want them to. Instant noodles are popular all over the world. According to the World Instant Noodles Association – yes, there's actually a World Instant Noodles Association, who knew? – over 100 billion portions of instant noodles were served in 2018 alone. China sold the most, but the United States wasn't all that far behind. According to a research firm called Euromonitor, the United States sold over 4 billion packets of instant noodles, and that puts the U.S. in the top five consumers of instant noodles. Now, if you love instant noodles, you might be a little upset to learn that they're not good for you. In fact, scientists have warned that eating instant noodles can have devastating effects on your body. Eating them on a regular basis can be harmful to anybody, but there are certain people who are at a higher risk. There are plenty of foods available to us here in the first world. You can cook some at home, you can order food at a restaurant, and noodle dishes are very popular because they can be prepared in a variety of ways. And they can also be paired with a variety of meats and vegetables. Of the types of cuisine available, they are the most popular in Chinese dishes. Noodles are a staple in Asia and a core part of their diet. People in China have been eating noodles for thousands of years. In 1950, a Japanese man named Momofuku Ando was working for Nissan Food Company in Japan, and he came up with an exciting idea. He was going to create instant noodles. The first noodles were sold under the name Chicken Ramen, and they hit stores in 1958. And the noodles had a lot going for them. They were dry, which would help them last longer than other types of noodles when in storage. They were also quick to make. They could be boiled in water in just a few minutes. The first version of instant noodles was such a big hit, they became one of Asia's top-selling food items as well. By the beginning of the 1970s, Nissan Foods created Cup of Noodles, and it was their first ready meal of its kind. People fell in love with it, and their popularity spread all over the world. I'm guessing you probably had at least one serving a cup of noodles in your life. Over the past few years, people with the scientific community they have decided that it was time to take a closer look at the nutritional content of these noodles to determine if they are or are not harming our bodies. They found that instant noodles are high in fat, high in salt, and high in calories. The fact that they are processed doesn't make them a healthy choice either. Some of the brands contain monosodium glutamate, or MSG. Anybody who pays attention to food additives and what they do, you know MSG can be harmful to your health. Even in small doses, it can cause concerning issues. MSG has flavor-enhancing properties, but it also has various forms of toxicity. It's been linked to metabolic disorders, obesity, Chinese restaurant syndrome, which means that you feel hungry almost immediately after you've already eaten, neurotoxic effects, and it can even have effects on your reproductive organs. Well, this caused people to wonder if MSG should be banned from all food products. Unfortunately, the FDA chose not to ban MSG since it is such an essential component in many foods. But it's still vital to understand how harmful those components can be to your body. MSG is not the only potentially harmful ingredient in instant noodles, either. They also contain a chemical preservative called tertiary butyl hydroquinone, or TBHQ. This preservative can add to the shelf life of these foods. It also is used in perfume, cosmetics, and even varnishes. In high doses or with frequent use, it can be a carcinogen, meaning cancer-causing. So the next time you're at the supermarket and you're being drawn in by the fact that instant noodles cost as low as 30 cents a package, you should think about what those noodles contain. The next time you start craving a cup of instant noodles, think about the cancer-causing agents that are included in some of those brands. These noodles might be quick and convenient and pretty delicious, come to think of it, 
but they can also do serious harm to your body. Since nobody knows exactly what a safe limit of MSG and TBHQ are, you're better off just avoiding the instant noodles altogether. That is, if you can keep yourself from partaking in their delicious goodness. Subscribe for more!